everybody and welcome to my channel it's your girl Angie and welcome to Angie's closet today we're going to talk about the basics of professional wardrobe so let's go ahead and get into it So before we start talking about the pieces, I want to say it's very important um, that it's about the quality, not the quantity of what you have. I know in the past, especially when I was a little bit younger, I used to just buy all kinds of things just because it was on sale. And not saying that I'm totally free of that now, but I make more conscious decisions when I purchase. Also, too, just making sure that before you start buying new things to add to your wardrobe, make sure that you're saving. You know, that's some things that I, in the past, I didn't do it. I would just shop and buy things and not really pay as much attention as putting a budget on what I should be purchasing and putting, putting money aside. So make sure before you go on a shopping spree or you update your wardrobe that you're putting money to the side and then create a monthly shopping budget. So the pieces that I'm going to talk about today, I'm not going to recommend that you just go and buy everything right now. But these are things are things you can build towards. But set a budget for yourself, no matter depending on where your financial situation is. So, you know, if if for you right now, fifty dollars a month is all you can afford, then that's what you're going to spend your money on. Fifty dollars all you can afford for clothes, and just set that aside and don't go above that. If your budget is five hundred dollars a month for clothes or five thousand then <clears throat> make that your budget but make sure you work within your budget and that you're also saving when you're shopping now i will i did want to say that all the clothes in this video are from express express um does not pay me does not sponsor me but it's been one of my favorite stores since for years and years i know my size there i'm very comfortable with it and i love the fit of their clothes however these are just examples you can buy these pieces anywhere so wherever your favorite store is just find these pieces at your favorite store or whatever is within your budget so i mean most of the pieces i'm going to show you can find at any price range of store it's just about looking for a, a nice piece um within that store you can find something anywhere uh, from your burlington's to your walmart's you know banana republic um i mean Michael Kors. So wherever you shop, shop there. Um, but today, in my pieces, they are mostly they are all Express because that's ninety five percent of my clothes come from Express because that's just one of my favorite stores. I, I'm a creature of habit, and that's where I shop. Okay, so closet essential number one: a blazer. A black blazer we're going to start off with a black blazer and one that's tailored so I'm going to give you an example this is a nice black blazer and it's tailored because you see that waist goes inside you're going to want a nice basic black blazer you can pair this with anything pants a dress a skirt and it's something that you can wear weekly multiple times during the week okay you want to make sure that it's not boxy something that 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 goes in and most you know most places where you find a blazer you can find them that go in you just don't want one that's like super square because it's not going to give you a waistline but this is going to give you a waistline um a nice one button blazer is great as well now when i say start off with a black blazer i mean a classic blazer like this so what I would not buy um, for my first black blazer would be like a crop blazer or a short blazer like this. So this is more of a crop style. Um, it does have a waist, but it's kind of short. So this is going to stop right at the waist. The one, the, the first one I showed you is going to stop a little. It's, it's a perfect fit. It's the perfect everyday foot blazer that you see. But this one here is kind of um, more of a crop version. I'm not sure if you can see that. So this is not one I would start off with. Maybe I would add to my closet later on if I had more blazers. But I wouldn't start off with this one. I also would not start off with a boyfriend blazer. So if I did not have any black blazers in my closet, I would not buy a boyfriend blazer first. Now, it's great to have one if you already have a black blazer. Um, but 
these can be kind of um a little bit more bigger not tailored fit it does con it does cover your butt so in some certain circumstances i wouldn't wear this with anything like i you know just it, it just depends on the look you're going for i find this to be a good blazer to have but this will be my starting blazer so your classic blazer is what you're going to want classic black blazer after i have a black blazer if i was building my wardrobe the next blazer i would have would be tan okay so i would have a black and tan those would be my two blazers and this as you see has a nice tailored waist to it so it's going to look nice when you wear it to me black and tan you can rotate those every other day throughout the week and you're great um until you can build up more now once you get your blacks and your tan then i would say work on color now um i feel like gray and gray and blue is something you can get later you can or cannot get that as far as a blazer is concerned i feel like the black and tan will hit a lot of stuff because they go with a lot of items but after I got black and tan, I would then go with pops of color. A pop of color. So something like a red blazer. Or a yellow blazer. Maybe green. Um, light blue. But I would then add a pop of color. So for blazers, I'll start off with a classic black tailored blazer. A nice tan blazer. And then after that, I will opt for a color blazer and then go from there. Alright, so... My second closet essential for building a professional wardrobe would be your pants, trousers, slash trousers, or a pencil skirt, depending on your preference. Now, for pants, I would try to get a straight cut or barely, barely boot cut. I would not opt for a wide leg or slim flip fit or flare starting off my wardrobe. Again, we're talking about starting off. Now, if you already have a lot of pieces and you want to throw in a wide leg or a slim, that's cool. But if you're building, get a nice um, straight or barely, barely boot pant because you want these to last you years and years. If you have quality pieces, they will last you years. If you go for trendy, you're going to have a problem because you're going to have to keep buying stuff over and over again because it may not be trendy um, the next year or next few months. So, again, my first pair of pants I would buy would be the color black. So I would buy some black straight leg pants, like so. Black straight leg pants, or I would buy a black pencil skirt. It would be great to have both. Again, I know black can seem drab, but black goes with everything. You can pop it, you can make it serious, you can make it fun, and it goes with everything. You don't have to think much, so start off with your black. From black, I, of course, would go to tan. That would be my next part of my rotation because, again, these black and tan will get you very far when you're building your wardrobe. If you're on a $50 budget per month, these are great things to start off with. Then I'll work my way to navy pants. Nice, straight hem. And then I'll work my way to gray. Okay. And so, again, for pants, or if you're a skirt person, I would start off with black, go to tan, get my blue, get my gray. Then you're good to go with your bottom. All right, so the number three uh, closet essential for a professional wardrobe would be your work blouse in black or white. Now, I said blouse and not necessarily a shirt. Now, when I first started off with professional wardrobe, I feel like I had to have that stiff kind of collar shirt to go underneath my um, my blazers or with my, you know, my pencil skirts. But you don't have to have a stiff collar shirt. A nice blouse would be just fine because a blouse is more versatile. And not only can you wear that for work, but you can wear a nice blouse for, with your casual wear. So it gives you more options, especially, again, if you are trying to, not to have a closet full of clothes, but you want to look great. A blouse is a, is really good. So, a closet essential, as far as blouses and professional wardrobe, if you're building it up, you need a, at least one black blouse and one white blouse. Okay? So, I'm going to give you an example. This is a blouse that I would wear as far as white is concerned. 
Um, a short sleeve blouse is great because you can wear this by itself with, with pants or a skirt. Gets cold. If, you're, if it gets cold, you can throw on a blazer or just with your blazer on a regular basis, you can wear this. Okay. Um, I also like the cami style. However, I would not start off with a cami simply because... In a professional setting, a lot of times you can't walk around with spaghetti straps like this. It's cool if you have a blazer on over it, but a lot of times you can't walk around like this, depending on your setting. So I wouldn't start off with a cami, but it's a good option. Another great option is, of course, a nice button-down kind of flowy top. However, when it's hot, this can get hot. So I would recommend the short sleeve blouse first. And it's kind of the same thing for black. I would recommend, I'm a little tangled up here, I would recommend a short sleeve black blouse, okay, or um, a cami, but again, the cami, I want to start off with a cami, just because of the, the, the straps, but it's beautiful, and then of course, your long sleeve flowy um, blouse, again, any of these you can wear for work or outside of work so please make sure when you're building your wardrobe you have your basic black and white blouse okay so our next closet essential will be the sheath dress i think every lady needs a sheath dress in her closet now a sheath dress is a dress that's um it's kind of more form-fitted it's straight it's not tight it should not be tight but it will be a straight dress. So the hem of the the skirt part of the dress is more in a pencil style fashion. And um, again, when you're starting off building your wardrobe, I will go for a solid color sheath dress. They have them in all kinds of prints and colors. But I will go for a solid color such as a blue. So this is a sheath dress. I'm going to try to hold that back. A nice sheath dress. Or black. Of course, you know, I've been showing you black the whole time, so I tried to switch it up and show you blue first, but I really wanted to show you black. All right, so a black sheath dress. Again, as you see, the bottom is more straight. And, you know, once you build up your wardrobe, you can have fun with your sheath, sheath dresses. Here's a sheath dress, but it's in a beautiful color. Um, it has a little texture to it. So a sheath dress is awesome. You can wear them with a blazer. You can wear them alone. Throw on your jewelry, your pumps, and you're good to go. All right. So my number five closet essential for professional wardrobe would be your pumps. And again, in my opinion, starting off building your wardrobe, you only need two options. Black and nude you can add your colors later but those two will get you far i mean and you can wear those every day black and nude and the black and nude pump so um if you're not a fan of like stilettos block heels are cool or you know if you have problems with your feet you can't be in heels long of course flats are always great but black and tan black and nude i'm sorry will get you very far so i'm going to show you just a few examples this is just a classic pump. Um, you probably, I don't know if you can see it, but I wear this almost a few times a week. So this one is kind of worn. Um, I got these from Aldo, I believe. Yes, these are from Aldo. Um, but just a classic pump. For work, I don't feel like the heel has to be too high. Um, this is also an example of a good looking work pump. For me, the heel is not too high. For some, this heel will be outrageous. But it's, it's not even quite four inches, probably like 3.25, three and a half. Um, but then there are some days where I opt for a low black um, block heel and it works out just fine for me. So black, of course, a black pump will go with any of those pants, skirts, dresses that I just showed you, blouses, and then um, some beautiful nude color shoes and nude depends on your skin tone some i'm a dark skin girl sometimes I, I do have a chocolate pair but sometimes that's not easy to find but if you can get with a nice 
tan color that'll that'll work just fine so a nice nude again a block heel works fine too and sometimes you know it's nothing wrong with showing a little toe you know so closet essential is your pumps okay so my next professional wardrobe closet essential would be jewelry you have to top your outfit off with jewelry and keep it classy when you are and simple when you are building your um, professional wardrobe again as you start to get more pieces then of course get your statement necklaces and things like that but if you again we just want to keep it to the you know minimum we want to build our closet keep it classy just have some basic classy classic pieces I recommend having a silver piece at least one silver piece one gold piece and maybe pearls so I have this on right now this is like one of my go-to um, everyday necklaces I've been wearing this for years it's something I can just throw on it's it's silver it goes with most things I like little small little studs for work I wouldn't you know nothing too big no hoops or anything for the office um, but just something nice and classy and then here I have a simple pearl um, necklace I don't know if you can see it well okay and then I also have um, a nice little simple gold necklace. You see? Okay, so I have um, both gold and pearl. And then I have this silver one on right here. And so that's basically all you need. So remember, jewelry too is a closet essential for building your professional wardrobe. Alright, so the seventh and last piece I am going to talk about when building your um, professional wardrobe a clo closet essentials I'm going to circle back around to blouses again and tops and now it's time to add a couple of um, color or prints to your top now of course you have to you need black and white to start off with because they're going to go with so many things in your closet but you got to have some pops of color you can't walk around drab and that's where your fun is going to come from from your tops you know starting off get you a good three to five tops between that rotate those with those black and white tops and you have something to wear if you're living the minimalist lifestyle which i would love to live you know i haven't made it that far you know you don't need a whole lot of clothes you just need the right pieces so when you are um adding in to you know some color prints in your blouse just you know get some things like some florals something floral um polka dots we love polka dots I love a good polka dot. I love that's a good solid color. I mean, this could go with black, this could go with tan, this could go with gray, could go with, with blue. So I mean a good solid color. Again, something like this, something floral. This could go with so many outfits. Prints. We love a good print. Of course, your solid top. So make something, have something pop. If you're going to be wearing all that black and tan, you're going to have to have something that pop in that wardrobe. Okay? And, or a nice pink top. Okay? And so these are just all examples. I mean, just find something, even like what I'm wearing now, this black and white stripe top. This is something I would add to my wardrobe. But I would want something with some color just to give me a little pop. If you have these uh, floral color pops in your closet it's going to really make your professional outfit just um look even better so uh this is the last piece which, which again is your colored blouses and or tops these are a few looks of outfits created with basic professional wardrobe pieces i hope you enjoyed today's detailed video please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel Thank you for visiting my channel and I will see you next time.